Hey, welcome back to Big Bad Bard Plays Enter the Gungeon. Uh, I was definitely the bullet last time. Let's try the Marine. I would like that alternate costume. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. Let me just check. I'll just see real quick. Eight more. Okay. So I have not killed any for a while now. Cool. All right, Marine. Let's give it all you got, buddy. Let us not flee from from battle. I just, I don't know. This challenge mode has me kind of, uh, uh I don't know what the word, I don't know what to say. I don't know what I'm looking for here. It, it, it leaves me wanting resolution, I guess. I'm just so ready to be done with it. I guess that's really what it comes down to. Uh, half heart is, you know, it's fine. It's uh, it's nice when we need it. Hopefully we don't need it, but it's nice when we do. Uh, I have a feeling that dude. Oh my god, the key still, or like, that dude still takes damage. Or I somehow killed, or somehow maybe this dude killed the Long Live the King enemy. I don't know. But I am very glad that the key Bulletkin was able to be killed. Because that would have sucked. Like, it's not. Wait, what? I'm sorry, I don't understand why I got hit there. Um. <clears throat> I don't know, I'm just I'm just really glad that I didn't miss out on that key. That's what I'm getting at here. Zone control. It's, um, not the worst one right now. And it's one of the modifiers that goes away after a minute. It's not like, oh, you know, Gold's Revenge or Poison Pursued or any of the other ones that... Oh, that's nice. Or any of the other modifiers that follow you for the entirety of that room. Um, you know, Shockwave, for example. <laughs> Blobulin Rancher. The list goes on. There aren't a lot that just kind of disappear throughout, the or like, you know, like, Long Live the King <clears throat> is one that disappears after basically a short time. Hopefully a short time. Uh-huh. Get out of here, you silly grenades. Um, this I'm not a fan of. I really don't like the idea of having to, uh... Go in that tight of a quarters to, uh, that enemy. Basically, if he's up here, he can hit me with that flail if I try to run through here. So that is why I was nervous. Rat's Revenge lasts until you clear the room. These are the ones that are pretty annoying. If you can get rid of it, it's not... Obviously, it's not too bad. You just have to fulfill whatever... requirement it has. Uh, we do have a key on the floor. want to find the shop. I'm sure he's around here somewhere. High stress doesn't matter if you don't get hit. Straight up doesn't matter if you don't get hit. That being said, if you get hit, uh, I hope you're not about to get hit again. So it got me on the last run, if I remember correctly. I think I got like high, st I, I got hit with high stress and then uh, like fell off the platform or something. Or maybe I got hit. I don't know, something like that. Maybe I fell off the platform and then got hit right away. Uh, there must be a book up there, because someone, someone's throwing letters at me. Okay, he's down. Uh, here's the shop. Hello, friend. What is up with you? Ooh, coin crown. Coin crown is... Interesting. Um, 
That's the one that gives us more money, right? I kind of want that. I really like the idea of that. Especially getting it this early in the game for not that much. Oh, uh, sawed off isn't great. Hey, we found the secret room. Uh, we don't have a key for that, but maybe we'll get one from the boss. Maybe we'll get one sooner than the boss. That's possible. Alright, I just need, like, one gold. I'm gonna buy Coin Crown. I'm not gonna buy... Uh, there is a key. I'm gonna buy Coin Crown and then hope that that gives me enough money to buy the key. Because the key isn't that much. It's, what, like, 25? I think it's 25 on the first floor. It's not too much. Basically, I need 24. <clears throat> Let me double check that real quick just to make sure. Yeah, okay. Um, but unfortunately, there's probably just this room, and then up here is the boss fight, if I had to guess. And, uh, I mean, it is enemies that spawn other enemies, so that's maybe a way to get the money. But it doesn't look like anyone's dropping any cash. Uh, there's been like two money dropped. Oh, there we go, there we go. That's a little bit extra. Okay, so we need 17 more. Um, from the boss, that's not unheard of. Uh, I was kind of hoping there would be one more room that had, like, uh... What's the enemy called? Um, gun Nut. Because those dudes can drop, you know, 15 money, I think. Or maybe 10. Maybe they just drop 10. Um, yeah, we can just kind of, like, unload on that dude. Uh, Blobulin Rancher is the room modifier that I need to look out for. Okay, this isn't too bad so far. Basically, just keeping my distance here. And then if he's going to jump up and land somewhere where I can stand... A safe enough distance away, but still hit him with the shotgun, I'm gonna do that. Especially if he's just gonna stand there and launch missiles for a second. I just need to find him. Shit. There he is. The sawed-off does decent damage. Um, yeah, I need to... That was a little sketchy. I easily could have been punished there. The game was kind to treat me otherwise. Oh god. Yeah, that was not a good dodge roll. I mean, it it worked, but I can't say that it was good. Let me switch over to the sawed off again. Maybe we can just kill him real quick. Yeah. <clears throat> nice. Uh, we do not end up with enough money for a key, nor does the boss drop a key. Bummer. Um, anything else we can do on this floor? I guess break that that blue chest. Maybe see what comes out. I don't have I don't have the highest of hopes. But you never know. I mean it could be Sir Junkin. Could be. Could just be regular junk, which it is. Alright. Second floor, Gungeon proper. I'm coming for ya. Uh, what was that? Oh god, the Moon Scraper. Moon Scraper is something I do not have a lot of respect for. Uh, I, I'm, I think the knockback is pretty decent. But the damage sucks. It's just... It's just not great. Um, the shop right away. That's kind of crazy. Um, and the lockpicks. Huh. Huh. That's tempting. Aw, oh, come on. Um, I need to kill the dude in the middle for sure. Uh, now I think I just need to kind of find them one by one and kill them. And, uh, not die to the hammer dude. Okay, that's a little shittier, I think. Okay, 
Ooh, a key. Just for free, just to have. Much appreciated. Uh, final attack, I need to watch out for. Also, I need to make sure I, that I recognize that those are spike traps on the floor. So I need to not walk on those. Um, alright. I'll just, I'll just leave this way, I guess. <sighs> I'm really hoping to knock out this challenge mode. I would like, I, I really think I would like to do it before uh, Advanced Gungeons and Dragons actually comes out, which I've got at least a couple weeks before that happens. At least. More likely it'll be longer than that, and that's fine. I'm As much as I'm ready for it to happen, like, I understand that the longer they're working on it, it like, that's a good thing. It's, it's not rushed out. It's going to be pretty much what the developers are setting out to do. It's it, If they're going to actually achieve the vision of what they had when they started the project, uh, and it just takes a little bit longer, alright, I can get over that. Time and patience. Everyone always asks how I grew my beard so big, you know, so long, or my hair so long. That's just it. It takes time and patience. All you have to do is, you know, in my case, all I had to do is not cut my hair. And then wait. Okay, that doesn't see like that doesn't sound like such a hard thing to do. Um it, it kinda translates into Gungeon. Um it, it definitely translates in the sense of like be patient and things will be the way that that they were intended to be, the way that <clears throat> you wanted them to be, or, you know, as close to what you wanted as could be made possible. Um, and also, I, I just kind of have to understand that, like, it's going to take me some time and patience to get through this challenge mode. It's just, it's just going to. Um, it's going to take me several tries, I'm sure. Well, several more tries than it already has. Uh, what do I want? I guess ammo for this. And I will buy the lockpicks. Why? Why not? It'll give me chances for free stuff in the future, basically. As long as I use it a couple of times and it pays off. If it pays off, like, twice, I think I'm good. I think that's about even. Paying like 40, 46 for it, 42, whatever it was. I'd say that's about even if it, if I get it to pay off twice. Um, so let's see. I know that this item room will be uh, passive slash active. With my luck, it's gonna be like the drill, which I would much rather have over the lock picks. Although it would be funny if I picked the lock with the lockpicks, and it gave me the drill. I think that would be funny. Okay. Ooh. Let me just get rid of those guys hanging out around there. Uh, I don't even know what I'm supposed to do about this. Yeah. Oh, gun Q, is that what's going on here? Yeah, that blows. Oh, shit, I didn't even see the pit right there. Okay, well, at least... Oh, well, I, I was going to say at least this room's over. It's not. It's not even close. I'm pretty sure I've got health laying around this floor. Yeah, I've got plenty of health. That's not true. I have just enough health. <laughs> To get back to full. Um, so I can just teleport back there, so let me come back over this way. Oh, I should have grabbed that. Um, actually, I'm gonna buy a key. Even though I have the lockpicks, I still want to have an emergency key. Um, and the purpose of this emergency key will basically be if I walk into this item room 
and the chest is of a quality that I don't want to risk lock picking. Okay, so this is not going to be the case. Um, but a quality that I don't want to risk lock picking and is exploding. Like, about to explode. It's got the fuse on it, is what I'm saying. Chaff grenade. Um, huh. I'm just gonna. I don't know. I'll throw it and uh, walk away. I, I'd rather have block picks. Um, and this is why I might be able to get something else for free over here. It'll be counting on a couple of lucky rolls, basically. But, uh, I don't know. It might be worth it. Um, that's right, I got the, the tentacle earlier on this floor. I was like, what was the gun that I got? Tentacle. Yeah. Uh, this room is not over just yet. Ooh, I like that, though. Ooh, ooh. Uh, get out of here, little bullet. Alright, where are these paths leading me? Uh, I don't have a teleporter in this room. I guess that's fine. There's probably going to be one in the next room, if I had to guess. Oh, I didn't even see that guy. That's my bad. Yep, wasn't paying attention. No, still no teleporters. Hmm. <laughs> I'm basically just waiting on a teleporter so I can backtrack. Ooh, that was nasty. Uh, not really what I wanted to happen there. Uh. Oh, God. Yeah, I got stuck in the doorway. On oh. This is just going so downhill so quickly. Um, so I do still have my emergency key, just in case. Uh, you know what? I should really go back and pick that lock. Oh, my goodness. Another key. That's pretty nice. Um, yeah, I'm going to run back here, pick the lock, hopefully, and then run back out onto the floor and try to basically fill up the lock pick to get that lock open for free. Um, maybe I'm, maybe I'm gambling a little too much on that because it is asking, it's asking for a lot. I recognize that, but I kind of want to be greedy. Save the keys for just better chests? I feel like that's just not a correct statement, though. Um, this makes me uneasy. Yeah, because the shotgun... Okay, cool. I killed the shotgun. That's probably what I was most nervous about. The cube, eh, he's annoying, but not too much of a hassle. The shotgun, though, um, just that close range with the cube could have made for some tricky dodge rolls. Alright, let's see what I can do here. Nope, no love. I tried. Oh, we got the bomb. Uh, would I rather have that or the lockpick? I might rather have the bomb. Yeah, I'll take the bomb. I've got two keys. I've got the coin crown if I need to buy um, more keys. I did have a feeling that I'd be fighting the Gorgon here. I almost said something about it, but then didn't want to jinx it. Basically just... Okay, that's bullshit. I was facing away from her, for sure. Which, uh, you, if you didn't know, I don't bring it up very often. Um, but you can either dodge that attack by dodge rolling through it so that you dodge roll, like, over the... Oh, this sucks. Um, I'm just gonna blank, I guess. Um, let me try, like, the Abyssal Tentacle on her. Uh, you can either dodge roll through it or you can face away from her. But that means you kind of have to stop attacking for that second. Okay. Uh, Tentacle is actually doing work. And it's one of the uh, beam attack weapons that I don't mind because it's almost instant 
in terms of uh, charge up time. And that's something that I've always had a problem with is the travel time for the beam to get to the enemy. So uh, just one reason I'm kind of prejudiced against them, against beam type weapons in this game. For example, uh, Moonscraper. See, like, it's not a huge charge up time, but you can see it a little bit. Um, Proton Pack is one of the worst in that regards. Certainly not a bad item, bad gun, but like, it just, I don't know, it, it's just too slow. That's my only problem with it, I guess. Just too slow. Um, the secret room could be like right here, but I doubt it. Yeah. I'd say more likely it could be off of that room. Huh, I don't know. It could also be like down here. I don't think it is. Uh, I have not... Yeah, I've not found it. Just checking. I feel like I already looked over here, though. Maybe not. I don't know. I'll just go back to the... Back to the elevator. Third floor, here we come. Damn, that's a long first two floors. Normally it's about like eight minutes per floor. That was... Uh, I mean, I didn't really pay attention, but I'm at like 21 minutes, so that's an average of ten and a half per floor. That's crazy. Okay. Uh, probably don't want the sawed-off shotgun as my main... Oh, I suck. Okay. Um, wait, hold on. I have Gun Knight Greaves. Yeah. That's really nice. I'm happy about that. The rocket bullets are actually quite noticeable. Wow. Bullet speed is greatly improved. I don't know why I could have sworn I had hammer time on this room, but I'm very, very glad I don't. That would have been rough. Uh, explosive pyre is actually amazing. Yeah, that's about as great as I could have expected it to be. Uh, I'll tell you, I would not mind Amulet of the Pit Lord just so I had one less thing to worry about. Um, and along that same line, something that like gives fire, poison, resistance would be cool. Hazmat. Or, um, I'd even take like Gas Mask or Ring of Fire Resistance. Ooh. Actually, not that hard of a room. <laughs> I say as I almost get hit. I, oh, yeah. As I get hit. Hey, we've got an NPC over here. Who could that be? Patches and Mendy. Glad to see ya. Um, I'll come back. I'll come back. Like, right at the end of the floor, probably. If I don't forget. Let's just... Okay. I thought that might kill them all. I was off by just, like, a hit of damage. Apparently. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Oh god. The fire is real. The floor is lava. I don't know why it took me so long to get that from Thermal Clips, or, like, I feel like that's the first time I've made that connection between Thermal Clips and the floor is lava. Because who doesn't know the floor is lava? Like, just the, you know, the childhood game. I know there's a video game or something now. Um, but I mean, just, you know, jumping all over the furniture. Trying to not touch the ground. That was about as good a rocket shot as I could have asked for. Oh, there's an enemy up here? No? I'm, maybe that was unfriendly fire coming back at me. I'm not really sure. Hmm. Whatever. Third floor. What do we got? Brown chest. I think I open it. Okay, that's... I mean, I, I'm grateful for that. Um, the gun is whatever. The health... 
Uh, although, you know, not totally necessary, it might allow me to wait until after the boss to pick up that, uh... Oh, God. To pick up the... Uh, Patches and Mendy heal. Uh, this is explosive fire, I guess, apparently. Okay, don't blink, Lobulin Rancher. Ooh, with machine gun, uh, minecart. That sucks. Uh, the Blobulin Rancher isn't too bad. Oh, hi there. Uh, except that I can't see them coming. That's the part that makes me a little worried. Oh, come on. Like, there's enemies in here that I just can't know about. And the blobs will keep coming until everything else is dead. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll open this one too, why not? The escape rope? Uh, do I have... No. Um, so I'd basically be giving up the bomb for the ability to go to the shop. Like, whenever. And that's kind of a hard, uh, get out of here. That's kind of a hard compromise to make. <sighs> I think I stick with the bomb. The escape rope seems like it could be really helpful to get out of certain situations. But... I mean, how... It, it, like, it'll give me a second chance at... Kind of a boss fight, but it... You don't... <laughs> even if you start over the boss fight using escape rope, you won't get the flawless. Even if you get a flawless, you know, quote unquote. Final attack, huh? Gotta be careful with that. Yeah, I wasn't careful. Uh, I didn't get hit, but I was not careful of it. That's for sure. Okay. I need to remember to use my bomb. Yeah, just like that. Uh, so this is just dark as the night, so not even don't blink. So I don't need to worry about jammed dudes being jerks. Um, just need to worry about this poison trail. Also, I'm pretty sure this is just the last guy right here. One more hit. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so there's the shop. What ammo are we low on, if any? I guess the Winchester. Um, so that kind of gives me space to free up, or, uh, I don't know, it, it gives me the ability to kind of start using a different weapon. Normally I like to use a uh, limited ammo weapon until I run out of ammo for it. Uh, that way I have as few guns missing ammo as possible at one time, uh, so that an ammo crate is as valuable as it is, like, as valuable as possible all the time, because I'll have a gun that's fully missing ammo as opposed to just a bunch of guns that are missing a little bit of ammo. I don't know. Maybe I'm all screwed up in my value math. Because uh, I'll admit I didn't do real math. But I feel like this seems right. Um... I'll open up this door, although I don't really know why. Because I can just teleport back to the shop whenever I want. Um, for sure, let's pick up this key. I found both item rooms on this floor, but obviously there's two more floors to go before I'm done here. Is that the end of this floor? Yes. I'm gonna take the full heal now before I fight this boss. Um, I'm not sure which boss I think might give me trouble. Definitely the Mind Flayer, for sure. That's always a pain in the ass fight. Um, Treadnought isn't too bad, and then... Who's my other possibility on this floor? 
Um. Uh. Oh, the beholster. Right. Or not beholster. Cannonball rod. Of course. Ah, uh, well, there's the flawless. That's fine. Oh, stupid, uh. Gun cue. I'm not even sure how this works. Uh, uh, there we go, actually. Just had to reload. Okay, that's crazy that I didn't get hit there. Alright, this is what I want to just use against him, is just the, uh... I just want to use the, uh, just the tentacle, basically. Oh, I couldn't get it quite in time. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, that's not even fair. I call bullshit on that one. I somehow didn't get hit by it, but that was not fair. And I think he knows it. Oh, I got hit again and again. Um, so... If I get hit one more time, that... Yep. That would totally justify me... Uh, taking the heal before the fight. Yeah, I would have died. Assuming I played exactly the same with the other amount of health. Okay, we're done here. Um, also, like, yeah, I'll probably, I was gonna say I'll probably reheal to full there. What is that item? Gun soul. Oh. Huh. So that's interesting. Um, I've gotten this item, I think, once before, and so I'm not a hundred percent sure how to use it. Um, I know it, like, starts you over when you die, similar to clone, but I think it's just the beginning of the floor. Final attack, what a unfortunate modifier on this room. Um... Okay. Out of there. Uh, I like the chest, and the plague pistol is... It's welcome. Why not? I don't want to be exclusionary of it. Um... Oh, do I have gun cue or some bullshit? Okay, whatever. Unfriendly fire, I think, too. I'm not too... Too worried about that. Uh... These little guys might be, like, not an issue. Um, I'd say, if anything, it's more just annoying that I have to cycle through all of my guns on this. Um, the little bump from that, I don't know, whatever bumped me into that enemy, not, um, not real happy about. Maybe I just am greatly misunderstanding what happened there. Um, shit. That's bad. Like, that's bad, right? Uh, am I crazy, or do I have gun cue or something? Uh, no, I don't have gun cue on this room. Alright. I need to... Okay, so I have... Obviously, I have, uh... Goals Revenge and Ghost of the Ship. Okay. Ah, uh, why? <laughs> okay, so down a couple health. Last bullet standing and goals revenge. Goals revenge is the one I need to look out for. Last bullet standing is a minor inconvenience at worst. He's basically being like, you can't kill this dude yet, even though he's pretty low priority anyways. And it's dead. Oh, we have another wave here. Uh, I definitely want to kill the genie guy, um, but I also definitely want to kill the, the skeleton summoner. Fuck that guy. Cool. Um, we will go down this path, because why not? Hot shots and poison pursuit? Okay. Um, hot shots, not too worried about. Poison pursuit is pretty annoying, though. Uh, yep. Okay. Um, not a secret room. 
not a secret room? Uh, that kind of looked like it might be. Let me just finish off the ammo here, I guess. For my plate pistol. Um, not a fan of the ghost just going super hardcore for me. Okay, we done here? Nope. Still got another wave. Okay, uh, got a key sitting back there. Need to remember about that. Luckily, it shows up on the sh on the not the shop screen, the map screen. But I need to save it until we find the shop. Maybe buy a key and pick one up. Okay. Um, actually. Uh, no, 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 I haven't found the item rooms on this floor yet, so there is still value to, to more keys. Damn, I'm not happy about getting hit right there, though. Um, damn, where that one? Huh, where is that guy? There he is. There we go. That is so much better for me now. I just needed that, that shaman that's buffing everybody up. Just needed that guy dead. Oh, I feel like one of these rooms should have something special on it. I really do. No? Nothing. Not a thing. Damn it, we got gun cue. Oh shit. Um, that's not really how I want to be using tentacle. Oh god, I'm so close to death. I'm real nervous about that one. Oh, okay. Okay, come on, come on. Alright. There is health way, way back here. And maybe I should go grab it. Just, I mean, it's not much, but it's something. It's one more hit. crazy that I was at full HP at the start of this floor. And now look where I'm at. With six hearts, that's... You gotta understand, that's, uh... Kind of an accomplishment of its own. Take as much bad damage as I have. Uh, kill that dude? No, he's too slow. That's actually kind of nice. Just freeze everyone up for me. We done here? No, of course not. Luckily, these guys really aren't that much of a challenge. They're just kind of annoying. They have so much health. I mean, this seems like as good a use for Moonscraper ammo as anything. Luckily, they drop money. They, they, they tend to. A uh, gun cube blows. I'm so tired of it. Um, more enemies, please. Yeah, I shouldn't ask for that. I know. There we go. I got a pretty decent lineup on some enemies. Um, maybe. <laughs> All right, Winchester rifle. Right you got this. Pew pew pew. Nice, that's the end of those guys. Uh, I'm a little surprised I haven't found the shop or the item rooms, but here's the item rooms. Ooh, I like that. And uh, what do we got in this one? Charge, charge shot? Yeah. Couldn't think if that's really what it was called or if it was something else. Because there's the something, I think it's just the Zilla. And uh, I think they look kind of similar. I'm not 100% sure. Um, this is strange. Very weird, always. Uh, let me let's see. Goals Revenge, Gorgon's Gaze, and Last Bullet Standing. Last Bullet Standing's not too bad. Especially since he's dead. Uh, how is. My ammo for, where is it, this guy, Abyssal Tentacle. Um, I mean, it's better off than some of the other ones. Although, really, Plague Pistol might be the only one that I'm, like, 
Yeah, I kind of want to get this one back up. And that's... Uh, I don't know. Plate Pistol's not even, I'd say, my favorite gun that I've got here right now. It's just the most in need. Um, I am going to pick up these keys, since I don't really care about... Um, I, I have enough to get both of the chests on the next floor with these two. That's... I don't know. I guess that's really really it. I don't care about having that item slot in the shop anymore. It's not that harmful to me if if he doesn't have any keys. In fact, if he's got health, that would be way, way better for me. I would enjoy that mucho, mucho much. Oh, that's gun soul activating. That's what that is. Okay, so that means I have to get back here and I can't teleport. Uh, do I have to clear out the floor again? Son of a bitch. Oh, wait, hold up. But I still have all my items. Okay, that's... Oh, but I only have one HP. Okay, I see the trade-off here. I see what's happening. I get it. Final attack... Blows. Gold's Revenge also kind of blows. But not, not in the same way. Um... I really wish I could just be done here. Oh my god. And then, like, the slow-mo effect of all this is throwing me off. Okay, that's out. I know this is almost out. Might as well get rid of it. Also, at least uh, this happened... I mean, it sucks that it happened at the end of the floor, really. Um... But, if I can make it work, I know the path to get there, so I don't have to go through, like, any dead ends. That's nice. That cuts off, um, these rooms up here? How am I gonna get there? I guess this way? Huh. Let me actually figure this out. I have to go through here. Um, this way we'll have one, two, three, four five rooms to get through. This way we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six rooms. Okay, I'll, I'll go the first way. Like, it seemed obvious at first, but I just wanted to make sure I wasn't underthinking it. Basically, I wanted to give myself the chance to look for a better route than the most obvious. If there was just a less dangerous way, especially since, uh... Oh shit. I need to kill... Oh, he's on the poison trail. Yes. I need him to stay on the poison trail. Okay, that guy died. Um... But especially since these item rooms were right here, it might have made it a slightly shorter route. I don't know. Okay. I was like, wait, why did this not... Oh, God. Um, I need... I need... Guns. <laughs> I need something. I need help. Nice. Okay. Um, kind of freaking out here a little bit. Shard shot, I think, is something I should be using. Okay, this is not so terrible. Especially since, uh... Phew! Um... Especially since, like, these enemies are going down nice and easy with the charge shot. Okay. Uh, I know that when I had Gun Soul the first time, I did not get back to my Gun Soul. So I'm not 100% sure what happens when you do. Uh, I think you just get, like, all your health back. Maybe get to full HP? Oh god, I got hit. No, 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 no. No, I got stuck on the, on the little ice ball, dude. Damn. Damn. Alright, well... Bummer. 
I was doing so well on that, too. I just had one more room to get through. Uh, all right. Well, that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I, I had a good time playing that run. I'll admit it. Uh, if you like to go ahead, give me that thumbs up. Let me know you enjoy it in the comments section down below or on Twitter at Big Bad Barb Media. And then be sure to come on back, subscribe, turn on those notifications, and check out another video. And I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.